out of our camp beds at around six and quickly eat our stale toast and powdered eggs in the camp kitchen area. We collect our lunches for the day and make our way outside to our trucks or buses waiting to take us out to the right of way. If you're not on the bus by seven o'clock sharp, don't bother being there when we get back because you don't have a job anymore. The sun comes up fast and we pile out of our buses and start the day. The coffee tries to kill the hangovers, but the cold air usually helps the most. The weather can change on a dime at any time, so we always make sure to have a few extra layers on the bus in case we need to warm up or cool down along the way. Most of us are veterans. We call each other crusty, like those special op soldiers that crawl through war-ravaged countries with big beards and battle-mad glints in their eyes. We wear stickers on our hard hats, representing all of the action we've seen throughout our tours of duty. Some hard hats are so worn down that there's more DNA in them than there is fiber metal. Some hard hats are bright red or bright blue or whatever, just acquired from safety at the beginning of the job. Some guys have lost a finger. Some have lost a wife. Most have lost their minds to one extent or another. Others are rookies. Green hands, we call them. Often they're foreigners who just landed and somehow wandered out into this heart of darkness. They usually start out as laborers, Others are the foreman's son, or a nephew of some higher up old guy on the line. These guys always have a way of moving up the ladder quick, whether they're ready for it or not. Other green hands are just hard-working young guys sent out by their hall and bust their asses until they get noticed. We all spend the day toiling away at our given tasks and expertise. Set up, bending, prepping, front end, Back end, band setting, setting in, and backfill. These words may mean nothing to the outside world, but to us pipeliners, they mean absolutely everything. Some guys out on the line are really quiet. They just want to get the job done and get out of there. Others are social and make lifelong friends amongst the pipeliner tribe. Still others are annoying as shit and tell dumb jokes. Like what's the best way to watch a fishing show? Live stream. Other jokes are so dirty that this construction fun channel would get banned from YouTube forever if I told them here. There's always one girl on each crew and she's always a total badass. Everybody wants to date her, but they're also kind of scared of her too, but I digress. At the end of the day, we get back into our work trucks and buses and haul ass down icy old logging roads that are constantly trying to kill us. Unfortunately, sometimes they succeed. For a few, there's often some work to be done when we get back to camp. Here, the lonely band setter moves bands from one truck to the other and then covers them up with a tarp so that they're not snowed in and locked up with ice for the next morning. Others, like the straws, restock their trucks for the next day. Some have to put chains on their tires or fuel up the buses. After that, we retreat back into our warm camp rooms, wrestle our way out of many layers of frozen clothes, and then take hot showers and wander down to the kitchen to find out what they're going to poison us with this time. It's a lonely life, but not bad, really, if you don't mind diarrhea.